Jaden, first of all, then you've obviously you came back at the weekend and had the uh, the fuller appearance on on Tuesday night. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, just a, a proud moment for me to finally be back playing. Um, I've waited a long time. It was really frustrating at the time when I got injured because um, of how the season was going as well. And then obviously going through the off season and into pre season, and then missing the first, I think, ten games or so of this season as well. So yeah, it was just a, a proud moment for me to, to get back on the pitch and, and get involved in the games. I would imagine especially frustrating because at the time that the injury hit, your form was right up there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I still felt like I had a bit more in me as well to, to go and do. So I was on my way to, to get into my best, I think. And then getting the injury was, and then finding out how long the injury would be was obviously a big blow. But, but now I'm, I'm through that now. so. So we can get back to, to playing games and, and being around the boys permanently again. Can you just first, because we're not going to be in those situations, describe that moment when the medics say, look, I'm real sorry, but this is this is a long term. It's nine months. Yeah. What, um, what was that like? I sort of felt that it wouldn't be a, a quick process just because of the fact that how I'd felt the injury um, and tried different things and it wouldn't have that gone away so I, I, I sort of had a feeling that I need to spend some time out to, to make sure it's right um, probably didn't expect it to be as long as it was but that's what what had to be done to make sure I was in in the right condition to, to come back playing again so so yeah just just getting through it was uh, and seeing myself grow each each week and each month getting better and healing was was a, was a proud moment as well so, so to that extent then has it has it, this is, might sound a bit like a daft question, but has, has it felt like a long time? Has it felt like a painstaking process, or has it oh. felt as if it's been all right then? I felt like it was, it was all right because we had the um, like the run-in for the playoffs, so that to take my mind off it, watching the game, supporting the boys. Then we had the playoffs, obviously, and then it was off-season, so got got a little bit of time off, and then pre-season, being back in with the boys. And then obviously the start of this season, so there's been a lot of things to sort of take my mind away from the injury and just crack on really. So, so even though it has been a long time, it hasn't felt as long as it has been personally for me. I, I suppose it's a, a mental thing, isn't it? If you if you're going in every day and it feels like I've got eight hours of rehab and everybody else is out there training as opposed to well, one day nearer. Yeah, yeah, it is tough, but obviously we've got a great a great bunch of boys and and the staff have been brilliant as well. So. It's not felt like I've I've been missing out, even though I, I have, and at times you do feel like you're you just want to just go back out there. But obviously, with the support I've had around me, it's, it's definitely helped. I remember just prior to the injury coming around the Birmingham game and the goal that you scored down there, you were talking to us about recent fatherhood and life changing and all of that type of thing. One might imagine that that distraction has actually been an exceptional positive given the injury. Yeah, definitely, that's been the the biggest distraction. It's non-stop. Um, but I love every minute of it, so so yeah, that's def definitely helped me as well. Um, always go home with a smile on my face. Um, so yeah, Stefo, that's been a big, a massive part of, of me and my recovery as well. Uh, and you come back into a team that's at the top of the league. How, 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 how were you expecting that? Is this ahead of schedule? How, how would you appraise that situation? No, it's been brilliant. The boys have done fantastic. As I said, we've got a great squad, a great bunch of players, great staff, and we all know our aims for the season. So individually and and as a team, so so I think we just need to carry that on, not pay too much attention to the table. We understand the position that we're in, but not get carried away, and, and literally keep performing, performing how we've been performing and putting results together, and and then slowly, slowly but surely make sure we we keep doing the right things, and and hopefully stay there for as long as possible. Has it changed within the the dressing room then from going top? And then it's not a one week th or a one match round thing. It's sort of three or four weeks, and then okay, the results didn't quite happen in the last two, but you're still top. About having that kind of target on the back. Yeah, I think whoever's top's going to have that that sort of target on their back because everyone wants to be there. So I think you just need to to not really think about anyone else, not pay too much attention to other people's results. Obviously, it's nice when when some do go your way. But then there's going to be some sometimes when results don't go your way. So I think it's just about us and how we approach games and how we approach training day in day out. It does feel as though with the, the volume of teams that probably do have designs on on winning the league to stay 
the kind of obvious, the most, the strongest squad, the most consistent squad will get there. Yeah, I think consistent, consistency is key. I think we've got that in the squad as well. Um, as I said, we've got a big squad, so we've got players that can can fill in when needed. It's a it's a very long season with so many games, um, and it's tough to ask one player to play every game. So we know that everyone's going to be needed, and everyone's got that right mindset of knowing that when they get the opportunity, they all know what what we're doing. So. So it's important, yeah, and we've got a good squad for it. Because to, to a large extent, if, if sort of a further added layer of praise is coming that, you, well, you're just back, there's several others that aren't sadly anywhere near to coming back and others that aren't so far off. So you, you're top of the league without having a lion share or a decent percentage of the squad not available so far. Yeah, and I think with the players we've got coming back as well, um, it's obviously an advantage, but no, no, not taking credit away from the boys that have been out there getting the results that they've got because they've done fantastic to do that. Um, but yeah, it just comes down to the, to the squad that we have and the mentality that we've got as a group to make sure that no matter who's playing, we go into the game trying to, trying to do our best, trying to play the way we want to play and, and get results. Just finally then, yeah, it's Stoke next. There's all the cliches, but they're not true anymore because several managers have been and gone since then. So what are you expecting of, of the current crop? Yeah, it'll be a tough game, um, no, matter, no matter when you play Stoke or what manager they've got, they know that they're going to play a type of way that's going to make it difficult for us. Um, so again, it's down to us to approach the game with the right mindset and, and go there and do what we need to do. It'll be tough, no doubt about that, but we've got the right group of players to be able to, to go there and get results, so hopefully we can do that. What is it about, just finally then, what, how the team, as you've obviously had a watching brief so far, how the team have acquitted themselves away from home, the more striking results and performances probably have come away from Bramall Lane so far, haven't they? What is it about this group that has, that has meant you've been able to do that? I think just the personalities we've got, got in the squad. Um, we've got senior players, we've got young players, players in between, and I think everyone's just bonding well together. Um, it's not just the senior boys that are, are, are leading the way, um, some of the younger boys as well. Individual moments like what Illuman's done so far, um, it just shows that no matter the, the age or, or the experience, everyone's sticking together and, and, and doing the jobs and everyone understands their jobs, which is a massive part of the results that we've got.